everyone it's raquel of raquel's carbon cuisine and today's requested recipe is going to be jamaican sweet potato pudding this is just absolutely delicious so here i have two pounds of sweet potatoes also a nice piece of white yam and a beautiful dry coconut i'm going to peel these potatoes and try and use jamaican potatoes or the caribbean potatoes the foreign potatoes tend to be a bit watery and sometimes wouldn't give you that nice pudding texture so when you're choosing potatoes try and choose the potatoes that don't have that bright orange skin right so now after peeling i'm going to add these to some water and this will help to keep them moist and this will be a bit easier when grittering So now that our sweet potatoes are peeled and washed, I am going to grate these just as how our grandparents used to do, the authentic original way. It's a bit tiring, I am not going to lie, but the end result would be worth it. But rest assured, you could cut up your potatoes into small pieces, add that to the blender with a bit of liquid and blend until smooth which is what a lot of people do just to save time but i want to show you the authentic way which i really don't mind doing right so know that the hardest task is done this is its texture it's a bit loose and this is where the yam comes in the yam is used as a binding agent yellow yam is most commonly used but you could use a piece of white yam or cocoa or even a piece of dashing would work perfect i'm going to grate the yam as well this texture is a bit slippery which is just perfect this is what is going to bind the sweet potato together just going to mix that in and also to this i'm going to grate a piece of coconut which will give this sweet potato pudding texture and flavor and i'm telling you this is the authentic way no shortcuts i also went ahead and blend the remaining coconut that which gave me about three cups of fresh coconut milk which i will incorporate later right so now that we have the base of this sweet potato pudding the grated sweet potato the yam which is used as the binding agent and some freshly grated coconut now i'm going to mix that in i'm going to put this aside now it's time to make the coconut milk and some spices now to a cup i'm going to add three cups of freshly blended coconut yes also some sugar gonna add some mixed spice some cinnamon powder some freshly grated nutmeg some molasses which not only gives color but flavor some vanilla essence some rose water and some melted butter going to mix this together when i tell you this is smelling this is tasting good just mix until it's nicely dissolved mm -hmm. But before I combine all the ingredients, I'm going to shred a piece of fresh ginger, which will give an awesome flavor. Also to this, I'm going to add two cups of all-purpose flour. Going to mix this in nicely. And because we're making a pudding and not a cake, you don't have to be concerned about overmixing. Just mix, making sure all the lumps are gone. And also you can combine your ingredients over which way you like. You really don't have to use the technique that I use. I just try to make it as easy as possible now to this i'm gonna add about two to two and a half cups of this flavorful coconut mixture leaving back just a bit behind for the top of the pudding for that nice soft custard gonna mix everything together until it's nice nicely mixed in that this is nicely mixed and smelling so good you could go ahead and taste your butter but when i tell you this is tasting so delicious but last but not least which is optional i'm gonna add some soak currants or raisins and this was soaking in some rum which also gives this pudding a kick in flavor just gonna mix this nicely i'm gonna grease my baking pan i'm gonna pour the butter in I'm going to cover with some foil paper and to a preheated oven, I'm going to allow this to bake for about one and a half hours 
at about 350 degrees. And I'll make sure to put a full ingredient amount down below in the description box. So while the sweet potato pudding is baking, I'm going to pour the remaining flavorful coconut mixture to a bowl along with some more sugar yes also some molasses to give it that beautiful brown color going to pour this on top of the pudding when it's over the oven creating that soft sweet custard that i love so much one and a half hours later the pudding is not fully cooked but it's, it's formed nicely i'm going to remove the foil i'm going to add the coconut custard on top back in the oven uncovered for a remaining 40 minutes or until it's done and i have baked sweet potato pudding covered in foil and without foil and the results are the same it's just that when it have the foil on it takes a little bit longer total of two and a half hours of baking and the sweet potato pudding is ready smelling absolutely delicious but you want this to sit and cool down for at least two hours before cutting into it and there you have it authentic jamaican sweet potato pudding with the beautiful sweet soft custard on top the only thing that was missing was that it was not done outdoors under the coal and wood fire but apart from that this was perfect I should have waited for it to cool down just a little bit more before cutting into it so in order to get a firmer texture but i really could not wait any longer this brought back so many memories this was oh my goodness i don't have words this was just absolutely delicious i just want to thank you so very much for watching